Hey guys, and welcome to What's Up Jude. Hey Jude family. Hey Jude family. <laughs> <laughs> so we hope you're okay. Um, I hope uh, you've got something to drink for listening to this podcast, or you are comfortable uh, with whatever you're doing right now. So today you've probably seen the title of this episode and maybe you thought like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what is um, that? Yeah, basically we're just going to talk about some, a few of uh, our experiences in general and what we can learn from it, from them, sorry, or something just, uh, you know, give you advice that our loved ones told us in which impacts our oh, daily life. life oh my yeah. god that was deep so let's get into it alex what is your first advice my first advice will be <laughs> that is funny anyway do not force something to happen because it will eventually come back to you when you'll be ready for it yeah do you, do when you you'll be ready that? yeah okay uh so <laughs> That is really weird to say because, you know, uh, I don't really have like a clear memory or experience where um, this happened. But, you know, sometimes I'm like, hey, I want this to happen or like I was supposed to do something and it did not come like, you know, has you expected I, like, yes, as, as I think I was like it was going to happen and then something better turns out like to to come and i was like yeah so i think when you are in this situation you like of course you can be upset i'm the first to be upset about things when things don't go my way you know mm -hmm. but i think you need to take a step back and maybe your friends or family can help you on that i'm um, telling you like you know it's okay like it's okay to not have your thing right away you need mm. to maybe to work more or you need to like just let it go basically yeah and i think it's really important to say just to think that maybe you you don't have the thing you want but you will have something better in just a couple of weeks years I don't yeah know. so yeah just uh think in long term uh is better than maybe you short term but i think also you need to acknowledge the fact that you you can be really frustrated because mm -hmm. like i think you need to wait my mic is doing an echo wait <laughs> okay is this better i didn't have an echo okay i did have an echo so anyway so i was saying like acknowledge the fact that that you can be frustrated and then you can like pass on something else you know yeah. accept your emotion in the in the moment and then you can let let it go of it mm. but i would be and i think it advice. and i think it's important to as you just said like accept your emotion like if you're yeah. frustrated like oh it's okay if you're sad it's okay and you don't have I'm to sad right now like i'm really <laughs> sad yeah but you don't you don't have to push this emotion away you know yeah and sometimes i tend to forget it mm. personally like i tend to like you know i'm like oh i'm sad but it's it doesn't matter but i need to accept the fact that i am sad mm. so you guys right now it is doing an eco that's weird right now i'm really sad you guys don't know why let's see those but yeah <laughs> Do you want to tell us? No. Oh my God! You can't. Maybe they will I'm know. I'm sad, and you. Okay, okay. Maybe, maybe like in maybe in three episodes. I don't know. I will talk about it. Okay. So, yeah. What is your advice? Okay, so well, first, to be honest, um, we have thought about this episode, and so I was like wondering, what am I going to say? Because. I didn't have any answer and I didn't have any advice. And so 15 minutes later and still nothing. No, nope. I texted uh, Alex and she told me, let it go. 
it's probably not a good day for writing then. Uh, so I just want to say that it's also a good example for what you you just said. But my first uh, advice would be, um, okay, would be you're the only one who creates this pressure that you live with. Um, in fact, uh, I was scrolling on IG uh, and then I saw a post of Chloe Bloom. Uh, she's French and she's a coach and gives um, advice. Yeah, we will have her link in yeah. our description that we like to <laughs> say. Um, so she also has a um, French podcast named, okay, Une vie saine et plus sereine. Uh, <laughs> We will put you so the link in the description of the this episode. Anyway, I saw one of her videos on IG and um, she said something like, we often think that it's the society's fault, but the reality is that you let the society build this pressure. Like you create this pressure and you enter the doors for her. And this works like echoed in my head and I think about it uh like almost every day. Like can you can you repeat you answer what? What? Like you were saying you answer? No. Okay. You enter oh, the and doors. Sorry my bad. You enter <laughs> the doors for her. And so I think about this uh sentences Uh, a lot and you know since this moment every time I feel when I feel too stressed or I think about how I can do my work the quickest way instead of just enjoying the fact that I'm learning um I I I take a pause like I pause the moment and realize that it's okay and like I'm just creating the pressure and It's normal to be stressed. It to be stressed. Sorry, but not but not as um, I am. You know, sometimes especially for things which will not matter in five years. <laughs> I <laughs> so, can relate to this <laughs> because I'm stressed for everything and nothing. Yeah, and when you think about it, it's it's stupid. You know, you don't have to yeah. be stressed for even sometimes. It's not something that you know you you think okay you uh think it will matter in five years but it won't and sometimes it's just the case for things that won't matter in just five months you know yeah, five that's... days like it's that's a short true. time you don't have to to worry about it and i don't know if you can remember But in one of my quotes that I I've said in our uh, first episodes, can't remember the first one. No, I can't remember. Oh, the okay, first, one of our first first episodes. episode. Okay. Yeah, and I, I I said at the end it's gonna be okay, and if it's not okay, it's not the end. So I guess it is not the end right now, guys. Yeah, and <laughs> like if you feel stressed about something, I'm I'm talking about like um everyday life things yeah not uh losing a job you know mm. just uh, something that you don't have to worry about um you know that it's gonna be okay and you know if you have a file to give back like something have, yeah oh, if you okay. have a deadline or That's something like that I just don't like chill man and uh <laughs> Like chill, okay. You need to chill, and so that's my mood for the last couple of weeks. And um, let me tell you that, especially with college, online classes, COVID issues, and so on. I thought you were gonna much. say something else. I was like, no, is she gonna say? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, that was a long advice, but I think you know. Anyway. Like again, you need to like. Let things go, honestly. Mm. And um, sorry if you can't hear my family, though. They're no, super loud. I don't think so. Okay. So, Alex, do you have any second tip 
experience advice that you want to talk about? So my second advice experience that, that I want to talk about, <laughs> I'm copying you right now, is like, do your best. Honestly, try everything that you can if like it is something that matters to you or not, mm -hmm. because eventually you will find joy, joy in the thing that you don't like if you push yourself, like mm -hmm. don't not pushing yourself in a bad way, but giving it your all, you know, mm -hmm. and, um, for example, you know, I've been playing the guitar since I was 12 and, um, at first I was like, okay, so gonna learn. And, you know, I was seeing this guy on the internet playing very well. And I was like, oh my God, like I need to be as good as this one. And um, eventually, you know, it was really hard, but I did push myself and I did give it, give it my all, you know? Mm. And right now I can say that I have a pretty, like, like a decent level in guitar. Mm -hmm. And it is because I did not like give, give out, yeah give out give up give up <laughs> it's because i did not give up and i think it is something you guys need to apply to your daily life mm -hmm. even if something is hard you need to give it your all like 100 percent of your like concentrate be concentrated and you need to you just need to go you know mm -hmm. and um yeah that would be my second tip so you don't have any regret also yeah that is something yeah, yeah. I'm going to say uh, something in the opposite way, like the contrary. Um, my God. <laughs> my second advice will be don't be hard on yourself. And I know that with uh, um, Alex just, just said, sorry, um, it can it can sound uh, stupid, weird. Contradictory? Yeah. Like, don't be hard on yourself on... Um, but let me just precise, um, you, you, like you can push yourself, uh, as Alex just said, but you yeah. don't have to sacrifice, uh, too much or you will see, you will see the consequences, not maybe yeah. right now, but in a few weeks, a few months, anyway. Is it so, directed to me? <laughs> uh, no, no, no. <laughs> but, okay. Let me just take an I was, example. I was kidding. I was kidding. <laughs> Let me just take an example to illustrate what I'm saying. So we were in November 2020, just a couple of months ago. Uh, so yeah, that was um, the hardest and darkest moment of my life because I studied like 16 or 17 hours a day. Oh my God, I do remember that. Oh yeah. And so you can see the context. We were in, a wint in winter, so night was here at like 4 or 5 p.m. on like classes were not my hobbies. I slept like f five hours mm. per night and like maybe you think that's college. It's okay. It's normal. It is yeah, normal. But you're wrong. Yeah. You're wrong. Um, <laughs> you're wrong. Yeah. I'm telling you, you're wrong. <laughs> you think that because maybe you see others do the same, uh, like it's normal. Mm. You work so hard to the point, for example, in my case, that I, I've sacrificed my sleep, my meals, my time with my family, that is a... my breaks, whatever. That is um, a no, no, you need to sleep <laughs> in order to function <laughs> well. Um, but the reality, the reality is it's because you or I didn't have this moment that I worked hard okay because you think like you work hard so mm -hmm. you don't have this moment but i do think that because you sacrifice this moment you're not as productive as you should be yeah you need to take For example, breaks sleep it's normal but also take some time with your family it's normal and it's okay uh because if you sleep more it will practice uh exercise meditate and all this stuff you know already mm. uh, you will be more productive and at that time i sacrificed all these moments but i was not aware of the consequences therefore december and january came and she was bang. there basically <laughs> like i haven't see, seen her since any yeah, yeah. i was so tired 
she came back in like March, you know. <laughs> and um, so, and also, it was not just physically, like I was not tired just physically, but also mentally. And when you're mentally tired, that is tooth, tooth, tough, 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 tough. tough. Yeah. Okay. Tough. <laughs> um. So that is a tough time because you can recover. You you can't recover as quickly as when you were physically tired and I... because if you're physically tired you sleep bang it's over when you're mentally over mentally tired sorry <laughs> it can it can take like a week a month yeah, and it's yeah. very long and i think so... like being being mentally and physically healthy oh, yeah that's is like you know, you know both they go together yeah and I think like being mentally impacted is worse than being physically impacted, honestly. Yeah, and I do believe that, you know, each one of uh, this type of tired, this type of T time, tiredness, tiredness? Is, I was saying that, uh, <laughs> tiredness, um, when you are mentally and physically tired, like it's so complicated because, for example, if you're physically tired, you have to uh, <clears throat> like you you mental have to put catch the up like he needs catch to catch up, up. Thank yeah catch you. up <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah yeah you mental have to catch up has to ca catch up i was saying catch up catch uh, up <laughs> <laughs> um catch up uh and it's the same when you're mentally over maybe if you exercise or something but when you are mentally and physically tired <laughs> you're basically dead like honestly <laughs> yeah like your living... soul your soul is dead i'm alive but i'm dead <laughs> <laughs> and yeah i think also mentally it takes way more time because mm. it is sometimes it it is habits that you need to re mm, sure. relearn and re you know sure get it back into your body like do this and take mm. care of yourself so i think that is a yeah there is a way so, yeah don't be hard on yourself take some time and you don't have to be sorry for taking this time and also. i did learn that this last year honestly because mm. i was not taking breaks because i tend to also like you know i when i do something like i do it even oh, if i yeah. have like <laughs> <laughs> i know you alex you're because, like, like that. when i when i say okay i'm going I'm, I'm going to finish this assignment this today like i i'm doing it right now and i'm i will not take a break if i did not finish this assignment yeah. and i did learn to take like you know pose my life just like you said because sometimes you need it, like you really need mm. it. Sometimes I need to take a five hours nap. <laughs> Do we remember is, this? <laughs> yeah, that is a coma. It's not a nap. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, take time for yourself, guys, honestly. Like I'm saying that, but I'm not going to do it right now. I should be doing and it. And I think also, sorry, what yeah. do you want to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go Did ahead. you finish your sentence? No, but that's okay. Because the idea just popped up in my head. Yeah, yeah, say it. Uh, <laughs> um, um, just, I think we re we've realized that mental health is as much important as physical health during 2020. And so, as I was saying, you don't have to be sorry. You know, I know some people that when they didn't answer to a text message, they're like, oh, I'm sorry, I was doing that. I was like, you don't have to be sorry. You know? Like, honestly, just take, if your friends does not answer, just like yeah. give you the text on, to, like, hey, are you doing okay? Hello, how are you doing? Are you well? alive? <laughs> that is me. Are you alive? <laughs> anyway, but, no, no, no. Just like, you know, be kind. Like, yeah. are you okay? Is everything okay? And eventually they will text you back. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm just taking time for myself. So, that way you won't be like, why are you laughing? You know why. Okay. Um, 
what I was say, I don't even know what I was saying. Okay, I'm going to explain why because okay. I feel so, you know, when I listen podcasts and people don't tell about their privy job. Yeah, yeah, I'm you're like, like, I'm like oh, I want to know. <laughs> yeah. So just um, I'm taking this time actually, uh, like, um, you know, back to school. Uh, well, you will okay. cut that. You will cut that because my brain was. And I will let's get that. That is <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> I am not going uh, to edit that out. Yes, you will. Um, so I was saying, like, I just this couple. I'm going to say weeks, but I feel like you know, college is too much. Like. It's a big part of my life and I want to not cut it because I can, you know, it's college, I paid for it, but um, I think sometimes I just have to take a step back and, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. when I didn't work or study, um, I was on social media, I was talking to my friend and I was not doing the things that I wanted to do, like reading, dancing, whatever. And I just needed this time, so yeah. Yeah, it. read can be a great way to help you, um, like, can get back to yourself. Yeah, and also it's important because, you know, sometimes when you think, oh, but if I did, if I do not text my friend, they will be like, you know, I will lose them. Sometimes I don't text back. And people yeah. are like, are you mad? And I'm like, no. Just forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to answer, you know. Just have a five hour nap. <laughs> yeah, and it's now 5 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I, I'm i taking this time, actually. Yeah. And also, maybe like in our next show time, I don't know when this podcast will be out, but I have like three books that I want to order. Order. Ooh, Sorry for order. this accent <laughs> that I want to order because, like, I really want to like read them. They they seem like a great way to grow, like to get my mind become. I don't know. I don't. I'm doing a movement with my hand that you can see, but yeah. <laughs> so hopefully I will get them, and yeah. I will read them, and maybe I will talk about them in our show time. Okay. Which show time? I don't really know, <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so have you got any last advice, experience? Alex, Alex, Alex. That is my name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I know you're freaking out when I said Alex. Yeah, yeah, I don't like when people call me by my name. I'm like, okay, what did I do? <laughs> Especially by text message, I'm like, okay. Like, sometimes Relax. she's like, Alex. Her Alex. So yeah. Anyway, any any last advice, experience, word for our dude family? Dude family, be grateful for everything that you have in your life right now, even if um, it is not something that you want to have in your life, because yeah. eventually it is something that will teach you a lesson. And why am I tilting my head like this? So yeah, <laughs> honestly, like. Be grateful for everything that you have in yeah. your life. Because I know You're that I alive. Was... My voice First was all, deep. <laughs> alive. So when I was younger, I was like watching other friends of mine or other people. And I was like, why don't I have that? That toy that I, you know, this this doll that I really want. Why? Why? <laughs> you know? And eventually my, my parents told me that, you know, be grateful for the thing that you have because some ch children don't even, does, not, don't even have what you have right now. Mm -hmm. So that's why I carry on through my journey in this life. That is, wow. Yeah. So be grateful. For example, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even have an example right now, but I'm grateful for the thing that I have right now and the thing that I'm learning to have what I want to have later. Yeah. I'm going to say what 
for what I'm grateful every yeah. day. Every day. I'm you... grateful to have oatmeal for breakfast. Every I'm... day. Yeah. That is a oatmeal all the bomb. Yeah. So oh. yeah, I this is something that I like did, like started to do, sorry. Uh, this month, like we're in March right now, it's like writing what I'm grateful for every morning. Honestly, it has made mm. make makes <laughs> my life better because I'm like, okay, so today I'm grateful for like you know, and it the can rain. be yeah, and can be like nothing, just uh, the weather, uh, something you at, yeah. Uh, hey, eight, 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 yeah, yeah. Is eat it? something you eat, eat? something eat? you eat. Eat, yeah, yeah. The, like really? the past is eight, a t e. Yeah, I know, but I do not know how to pronounce it. Eight, eight. But like you okay. don't have to do a with an h. Anyway, your otherwise... food, your food. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, hey, can you shut up, please. <laughs> no, but your food, so, some someone you you talk, you've talked with, or anything. No. Today. Okay, so I'm going to be doing that right now. So today yeah. I'm grateful for the sun that we have outside. I'm grateful for recording this podcast because it has honestly make, made my day. And I'm grateful for the morning that I did have, even if it was not that good. Because, you know, gotta be grateful for the bad moments too, because after you will appreciate your good moments way better. Yeah. So and right now, I, yeah. I'm doing that. I appreciate yeah. this good moment. <laughs> and also you have, you know, maybe you think like, why Alex is grateful for something not good, you know, or something that she didn't enjoy. Because I because know. Because she, <laughs> no, but also because it means that you had the opportunity to leave it, even if you didn't it enjoy it. wasn't that, yeah. Even if you fail, it means that you have the opportunity to create it, to to be to, better. Like, yeah. honestly, it's gonna be. And better. also, you have you had the experience, you know. I'm not Maybe, gonna lie, like on a, what what you are saying right now is yeah. is making my day better. Oh. Like honestly, I do feel better because I was like really really sad when I started this podcast, <laughs> and even uh, before. But right now, like talking about advice. Mm -hmm. advices with you and what you are saying right now is really making me like you know acknowledge the fact that it's okay mm -hmm. it's okay so thank you for that and i'm and, and i'm and i'm being really serious right now so oh. so yeah thank you dude yeah and <laughs> okay so <laughs> that was an emotional moment sorry guys yeah okay so um my last my last tip sorry is probably yes. the main advice that I would give to my past self. Is that even a word? Don't know. We're only uh, 19 and we're talking like we're in our yeah. 40. Yeah. <laughs> but my advice would be get out of your comfort zone. Oh my God. Like, get out. You know? I need to get um, out. <laughs> and I know like my second advice was don't be hard on yourself. But are you ways? <laughs> This podcast is basically us telling us like the contrary of what we are saying. Yeah. That is okay. With weird voices. Um, <laughs> but as always, you need to find a balance, right? So you have to challenge yourself a little bit. Add a tiny spicy vibes to your life. Add a little spice. Sorry yeah, for that TikTok yeah. reference, guys. Yeah um for example one year and a half ago i didn't exercise now i exercise like four times per week she's a beast it's working <laughs> before, out guys yeah before i didn't meditate meditate yeah meditate, now it's yeah. part of my daily life and i need it you know? I every time you say i need it sorry yeah. But I have like this SpongeBob, you know. I need, I don't need it. I don't need it. I need it. So, yeah, sorry. Okay. <laughs> and last example, I didn't have my travel license or didn't have any professional experience. And I have now. So, my point See? is, 
my point is you have to discover new things, new people, otherwise you will have this fixed mindset. Um, I'm not saying you have to climb a mountain, but you need to put one foot on the first step, you know? Yeah. Remember, progress, not perfection. So yeah, that is having... our podcast yeah. Uh, quote. Yeah, so, like, stop having the, I don't know if you know it, but the imposter syndrome. I do have that. <laughs> and saying, you're not good or brave enough. Like, just do it, you know? Honestly, like, yeah, that is, I really like this episode because yeah, everything that you are saying right now is making sense <laughs> right now. It is making and, sense, guys. And you know, also I've watched a YouTube video. I don't remember when, but anyway, and the guy was saying, if you're scared of it, do it. Yeah. I was scared of well, um, legal things, you know, legal things. <laughs> but if you're scared of something, yeah. For example, um, if you're scared of traveling by yourself, do it. If do you're it. scared of, um, uh, you know, you think you're not good enough for a dish job, like just apply your, to it. Yeah, send your resume, and that's it. Like we were scared to do this podcast. What are we doing now? Podcasting. Yeah, and it, it, yeah, I remember he Alex told me like, but who are we? Who are going to listen to us? And, and we're, we're doing it. Even if nobody listens to us, we'll be there anyway. People are listening to us, honestly. And I'm yeah, I'm grateful for, for those listeners. <laughs> I yeah. will not cite all the countries. But I'm grateful for you guys. Yeah, thank uh, hopefully you. you did like uh listen to this to the till this this minute this end i yeah. don't know and also on instagram even if uh you know people don't know our podcast they follow us on instagram that is yeah thank you that is crazy so i would like say if you want to make something happen do it you have yeah. the possibility to to make it mm. Honestly, you, you can do anything. Except if you want to fly. Kinda... Like you need to, yeah, you need to work hard for that. But you can <laughs> still do it. It is never too late. <laughs> it is never too late. Mm. Except for flying. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. That was a great way to end this episode. Are we doing an ASMR challenge right now? Maybe. Okay. Okay, so before ending this podcast, okay, I'm going to stop that. Before ending this podcast, first, thanks for listening till the end. And I'm sorry if you can hear the echo. Um, yeah. And yeah, follow us on yeah. our socials. We don't even have many socials. We only have Instagram, but <laughs> at WhatsApp Dude Pod, it will be in the description of the episode. Uh, as well as the the podcaster that we talk about, Chloe Bloom. Um, what do I have to say? Send message, please. We want like we want to hear your voice. People living in I don't know yeah. India, we want to hear you. We want to like, talk with you. We want to talk with you. People living in Canada, we want to talk with you. Yeah, maybe even if you want to be one of our guests, send a message. Like, don't be afraid. That, yeah. We're, we are actually in our room, you know, we're normal people. So Crazy we, people that we are. Yeah, yeah also, but... <laughs> but don't be afraid, you know. If you're listening to this podcast, it, it is because, you know, you're not afraid of us. So, yeah. yeah. So, um, yes. And thank you, stages. always. Always. And thank you can you. also write a review. Really? I have, a, like, I have a question. Why you can't review podcasts on Spotify? That is... Ooh. Like Spotify, if you can hear me, <laughs> write an email. Maybe it's. I think I'm going, to, I'm going to. Yeah. So yeah, please um, write a review on Apple Podcast because it is the only way to write a review. That is really sad for people that don't have. But you can Apple text podcast. us. You can. Yeah, text us. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even have our phone number anyway. So yeah. No, but like yeah, on yeah, yeah. IG. <laughs> DMs, yeah. 
still don't know how to say DM in English because I don't know the full. It, it's MP? No. DMs. Direct DM. messages? Yeah, direct messages. Okay. I don't know, DMs. So yeah. So thank you guys again for listening to this episode and we will see you soon. Have a great mm. day. Or not. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>